We are very excited for the completely new dynamic calculation in FemDesign 18, which allows for forming a footfall analysis. This means that you can now calculate the response of the structure under a given excitation force. The excitation force can be self-excitation, full excitation, and rhythmic crowd load. And we will focus on three simple examples for each of the methods. Let's start with the self-excitation method, which is defined by a point load acting in several nodes for which the response is calculated. All of the nodes included in the selection area are considered for calculation. The line load will represent the mass of the structure and has been converted through the load case mass conversion function. In the analysis tab, there is a brand new calculation option called footfall analysis. Here you can choose which type of calculation will be performed and set up your analysis parameters for frequency data and Fourier coefficients. In the results tab, you can see the masses calculated for each node or for the total structure, the displacements for each vibration shape, the acceleration and the response factor. The detailed results function displays the frequency curve on a graph and the peak values showing the resonance of the structure. Let's take a look at the second method for footfall analysis. In the case of full excitation, the walking excitation force will act in one node and the response will be calculated for all the other nodes. For this example, the point is defined in the center of the slab. In the analysis tab, the full excitation method is chosen and you can notice that all the parameters are the same as for the self-excitation method. We have the same type of results as before, with the detailed results for viewing the frequency curve of the element. For the rhythmic crowd load method, the procedure is a bit different as the excitation force will be represented by a specific load case. In this example, the simply supported slab is subjected to self-weight and imposed loads. The crowd load is defined on half of the slab and acts directly as the excitation force. In the analysis options, the rhythmic crowd load method is chosen and you need to specify which load case is to be considered as the excitation force. For this method, you have the option to select the Danish national annex for the Fourier coefficients. Otherwise, you can introduce them manually. The results are available as for the other two methods, 